Hello. Today I want to talk about a movie that will be turning five years old this year. Um, that movie is Richard Jewell, directed and produced by <clears throat> Planet Eastwood, starring Paul Walter Hauser as Richard Jewell, Sam Rockwell as his attorney, uh, uh, Watson uh, Bryant. John Hamm as uh, FBI agent. Uh, yeah. Tom Shaw. Olivia Wilde as uh, Kathy Bruggs, a uh, journalist. And uh, Kathy Bates as Bobby uh, Jewell. Real name is. Uh, uh, you know what, Barbara, that's his, uh, Richard's mother, oh, and obviously this is the story about, uh, the 1996 Atlanta, uh, uh, games bombing, where, uh, Richard Jewell, he, uh, uh, found a, uh, bag, Backpack with a turned out it was a had bombs in it, <clears throat> and he used to be in the law enforcement. And then, uh, you know, at one point, uh, and he they went to being a security at like a school, like a college, and then was security at the Atlanta games. And there's you know, but the uh, and just the whole thing that happens uh, about how the FBI and the media just goes and goes in on all on him, <clears throat> and how he has to be the person because you know, in a way, he kind of sort of fits uh, a profile where you know there are people who. For instance, there, there have been people or somebody who a prior, you know, officer or whatever else wants to be seen as a hero. So plants a bomb or something. Goes and lets people know, oh, there's a bomb or whatever. And then is able to save many people, such as in this instance. And they also mentioned now there be there was somebody who, you know, set fire to a, to a place. And they're a firefighter, so they're there. And they're able to put the fire out and are seen as a hero. You know, so in a way, there's certain flags, you know, red flags that he uh, he raises. <laughs> it, he also has an assortment amount of guns, you know, which he says, you know, well, it's Georgia. You know, have. And Bryant, you know, Sam Rocco goes, oh, of course you do. Um, this is a very good film. Um, Kathy Bates got nominated for an Academy Award. Um, I think it's a deserved nomination. Uh, 2018. I've already talked about many times what my favorite film was that year. You know, The Lighthouse. But, you know, there is a lot of great films that came out that I have not even talked about this is one of them i've talked about many before and there's many more that you know i might not get to all of them this year but i like to get through a few more this is one for sure you know i've always admired clint eastwood he's one of my favorite actor filmmakers and he is <clears throat> truly amazing uh, the entire cast does a great job. Sam Rockwell is excellent as the lawyer. So is John Hamm. He's, you know, he is mostly based on a different, an actual FBI ag uh, agent. But he also, also a couple of them, though, you know, one was primarily the main influence. Um, I do think that uh, Olivia Wilde's character was, you know, they a character assassinated her by, you know, she's, she's the one who, 
really was the one with the story to really break. As well as she and Tom Shaw, you know, uh, Kevin Briggs. You know, they, uh, you know, they were sort of a thing. Like, you know, he would tell her certain things and then she would write, like, you know, uh, a story based off of what he gave her. And then, you know, because, you know, he's with the FBI, so they would know certain things. And then he, uh, <clears throat> and they have certain uh, sexual, uh, uh, kind of sexual favors, basically, as a result. Like, he gives her something, she also will then run with that information for the paper. And then, you know, they sort of a consummate this sort of uh, relationship here and there and there and you know there are people who said that that's just inaccurate and it's like it's a situation where you know they obviously want to highlight how Richard Jewell's character was assassinated and it was and rightfully so he was eventually vindicated in, in the sense that he was shown not to have been the bomber but that also, you know, in the process of trying to, you know, vindicate the name of Richard Jewell, he, you know, they kind of, you know, they a character assassinated somebody else in the process. Um, of course, there would be people who have defended this decision and how it was, you know, not intended to be that way or, but, uh, but you know, it also, you know, it, it can be seen. Uh, so, so it's a situation where it's like, you know, didn't intend for this to be the case, but people will interpret it one way or another. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill produced this film. Jonah Hill was supposed to be Richard Jewell with uh, DiCaprio as the lawyer. Uh, um <clears throat> Uh, Brian so but they as time went on they had different directors like Paul Greengla Greenglass Greengrass forgetting I'm blanking on his name now the, the guy who directed three of the J Jason Bourne movies the Bourne Supremacy Bourne Ultimatum Jason Bourne as well as United 93 um you know, he, you know, he was at one point going to direct the film, but then for whatever reason, he didn't. And then by that point, you know, probably went through a few directors and then, you know, DiCaprio and Jonah Hill did other projects. Um, also this year, this same year, uh, 2019, uh, DiCaprio was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, so... If anything, he was probably would have been busy around the time they actually would have made this film. Um, it would have been interesting if DiCaprio played the lawyer, because he was already in uh, J. Edgar, that Eastwood also directed, which is a pretty good film. Um, may not be the greatest Eastwood film or the greatest performance by DiCaprio, but it's a pretty decent film overall. Um, so it would have been cool if, if they reunited, but, you know, they did not. But, yeah, Clint Eastwood did a great job with this film. Um, and, uh, yeah. Just a very good film. Um... If you haven't seen it, it's very good. Uh, yeah. If you have seen it, what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Uh, you know, or <laughs> do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you somewhere in between? Do you like think the story itself is interesting and and perhaps the, the performances were good, but perhaps something was wrong with like the way the story was told or. 
there's information that should have been in the film but wasn't i mean this film is two hours and uh 11 minutes so you know it's very possible that there were you know or it is very likely that there were things that were not included and the blu-ray has a, a real story of richard jewell now making a richard jewell the conversation with clint eastwood sam rockwell kathy bates john ham olivia wilde and more i haven't watched the special features in a while so i would imagine that uh paul walter hauser would be amongst them i mean he is richard jewell so that would make sense but sometimes when they do stuff like that you know sometimes the main guy just isn't there for one reason or another um but everybody in this did a really good job uh and yeah it would have been interesting if uh jonah hill and dicaprio were in this film i do like hauser and rockwell's performances though so i can't be disappointed that they you know i don't know if replace was the right word because when clint eastwood came on you know hill and dicaprio were already gone they were doing other things so it wasn't like, oh, Clint Eastwood's going to direct this? Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> and it wasn't like that. They like, uh, probably got, like, you know, different directors were attached. And then um, at various points, and then they probably thought, you know, uh, doing other things. So sorry, but, you know, gotta, you know I got to do this. I'm going to do this movie or do that movie. So... Yeah, by the time it got made, you know, Hauser and Rockwell were cast, and uh, I think they did a good job. Did a great job. Uh, you know, if uh, Hauser was nominated, that would have been cool. I think it would have been cool if Rockwell was nominated, too. Um, John Hamm could have been nominated. Uh, Olivia Wilde. Uh, yeah, everybody involved did a great job. I, uh... I like this film. Um, I don't know where I would put this on my, you know, favorite films of 2019. Um, you know, sometimes when you make a list, and as time goes on and you rewatch certain films from a particular year, you might change things. And uh, I don't remember where I had this. I think I gave this, I'd give this like a four out of five stars. Maybe four and a half. I don't know. Of course, I just got done watching it. So, you know, it is fresh in my mind. So I really do like it. So part of me watched it, just give it a 5 out of 5. But, you know, um, if if one was going to be critic, even more critical, I might give it 4.5 four out of 5. But still a really good film. Um, but, yeah, what, have you, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I think it could have uh, explored certain aspects about the whole, you know, investigation and certain parts of uh, uh, Richard's life that perhaps were known at the time but were not covered in the film. Well, let me know. Obviously, if you have not seen this film, you wouldn't be able to comment one way or another. But, yeah, so let me know. What do you think if you about this film? If you've seen it, if not, yeah, just let me know. And uh, please have a great day. Have a great weekend. It will be July soon, so I hope all of you here in America, when uh, the Fourth of July comes, hope you all have a great Independence Day. Probably have a video for that, but. I guess we'll just uh, wait for that. But yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great, great day today, great weekend. And I hope your July will be great. Hope your J June has been good. You know, summer is officially here. How is it wherever you are? I know in the Southern Hemisphere, it's, you know, winter, but, you know, in the northern hemisphere it's summer hope you're all doing well it's quite hot and humid at various points so hope you're all uh 
well if you're in a situation like me and uh in the hot and humid area but uh yeah i'm keeping as cool as possible while also trying to be outside as much as possible so yeah please have a great day and a great weekend and i'll see you all next time bye